Hey, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my equipment experiential use videos. This is a series about cameras that I use. So this is about the Nikon FA. So the Nikon FA was revolutionary in its day. It was a computerized matrix metering system that wouldn't get fooled by a bright sky at the top of the frame because it knew if there was an extreme bright area, maybe not to factor that in so much. The Nikon FA was the compendium to the FE2 and the FM2. And I was an FM2 shooter my whole career and I still am and I love the FM2. But the FA has automation. So if you need a point and shoot camera, you can put this on program. You can put this on F22 or whatever your smallest aperture is. And now the camera has complete control. You can just point and shoot. This has film in it, so I can't just point and shoot and show you, but the camera has a really incredibly good meter that you can trust. And if you need to override it, you can always use the exposure compensation dial to put it at plus one or plus two if you want to get a little bit of a denser negative. But I don't like it like I do an FM2. I just was recently packing a bag and I had the FM2 in one hand and the FA in the other hand. And I was looking through both and the viewfinders are great in both and they're very similar. But the FM2 has the simple zero plus in the right side of the frame that tells me where my exposure reading is. And the FA has it up at the top of the frame in a, an LCD. It has a window that lets you see what aperture you're at. But then it has an LCD to say what your shutter speed is at. And then it has a, a little LCD minus and plus that you can, if you're in manual mode, you can change your exposure and try to get those minus and plus to both be on at the same time. And that's not a very easy, I don't like that system. I don't like looking at the top of the frame. I don't like searching for that. On the FM2, it just sits there on the right hand side. In fact, I always had a theory when I was shooting film at the newspaper, if I had the zero and plus both lit at the same time, meaning I'm a little bit overexposed, I was guaranteed to get a shot. And I would say the FA isn't that camera. Don't buy this if you want a manual camera that you're gonna use in manual. At least for me, it doesn't work in a very pleasant way because I don't like that LCD display. And we'll be talking about the F3 at some point. It's a similar LCD display that I'm not a big fan of. I like the simplicity of a display that makes it easy for me to see numbers. And like the Canons used to come up with a electronic display that was even easier to see for me than this as the fa you know what this is a great camera for though this is a great point and shoot camera you can put this on program and you can trust that you're probably going to get photos you can put this on aperture priority and you can choose your aperture and the camera probably is going to meter right on this isn't a camera to use when you want a manual camera get the fm2 but if you want a camera that's going to be easy and quick, the kind of street camera or the kind of camera that you can shoot at an event where you need to be quick because people are moving quickly, things are happening quickly. If you still want to have some control over aperture, you can still drop it down to F2 if you want to shoot wide open or 1.4 or whatever kind of lens you have on. If you're shooting inside and you know it's going to get fooled, even this camera may be fooled by darkness and it wants to shoot at an eighth of a second wide open when you want it to shoot at a thirtieth of a second wide open, you can still put it in manual and treat it like a camera without a meter. But the idea of shooting a camera that has automation for when you need quickness, that's when it's really good for. So this for me is a program camera, point and shoot camera. I still have to focus. And then it's a great aperture priority camera. In fact, 
this is equivalent to like an FE2, which is only an aperture priority camera, except for the meter in this is a little bit more sophisticated. Do I recommend it? I do. And they're not very expensive. I see these going for $100 to $150. And if you can, look for one with this little piece here. A lot of times this little piece on that right side goes missing. It unscrews and it's a little grip. And a lot of times they're not there. If you can find one with it, you'll be glad you have it. And the other thing is this little viewfinder ring. It's rubber. I like it because it protects my eyeglasses. And those often go missing too. So see if those are there. And if they're not, use them as a bargaining chip to get a better price. But I do like the Nikon FA. This is a recommended camera. If you want something that's easy and point and shoot, you can make it that. If you want to use it in manual and you want to deal with that LCD metering display, which I don't like, it's got that. It'll still give you some indication in manual mode. But it's really, for me, a best use camera as an automatic camera for when I need to be quick. All right, that's today's photography talk on the Nikon FA. You can find these out there. They're not so desirable. People don't seem to want to pick them up like they want to pick up a lot of the other cameras. The FA seems to be underrated. And it wasn't even, I don't think, used by pros. Whenever I would see people, they'd have the FM2, they'd have the F3s. They wouldn't have the FA. So you might find those out there. And I think you might find them in cleaner condition because people didn't use them professionally so much that I saw. And so amateurs, hobbyists, prosumers would use them and keep them nice in camera bags and not bang them around. So look for the Nikon FA if you're looking for a good, solid, well-built camera. Shutter speed that goes up to a four thousandth of a second. That's pretty good. Titanium shutter. Nice camera. All right. I'll be back next week. We'll talk about another camera of my choice. As always, here's the good light. <laughs>